What do you get when you mix nine girls, one boy, two parents, one grandparent, one best friend, one boyfriend, one secret girlfriend, two dads, and one house? The Loud House, of course! Premiering in 2016, the beloved Loud family has already become a fan favorite on Nickelodeon. With so many unique personalities, the episodes have something for everyone. And we're here to check out all the deets. Hi, I'm Liberty with Channel Frederator, and we're here to tell you all about the Loud family and friends. Yes, even the stinky baby. So get your nose plugs and earplugs ready, because we've got 107 facts about about the Loud House. Let's get started. Number one, The Loud House is a cartoon on Nickelodeon about the adventures of Lincoln Loud and his 10 sisters, Lori, Lenny, Luna, Luann, Lynn, Lucy, Lana, Lola, Lisa, and Lily. Number two, The Loud House was created by Chris Savino, a longtime animator who began his career way back in 1991 as a layout artist on the radical cartoon series, The Ren and Stimpy Show. Number three, Savino says that Ren and Stimpy is one of his favorite cartoons of all time, along with Rocco's Modern Life, which he was a character designer for. Number four, Savino worked in animation on various kids' shows for years, including stints on Rocco's Modern Life, Hey Arnold, Dexter's Laboratory, The Powerpuff Girls, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, My Life as a Teenage Robot, My Gym Partners, a Monkey, Me, Hawkeye Land, and Kick Batowski. Just to name a few. Number five, Savino grew up watching cartoons like Looney Tunes, Underdog, Popeye, and Rocky and Bullwinkle. He said if he could befriend any animated character in real life, he'd choose Bullwinkle because his pun game is so strong. Number six, although he loved those cartoons, his biggest inspiration for getting into cartooning and animation was the comics page in the Sunday newspaper. Savino always wanted to have his own comic strip, and his favorites to read growing up were Pogo, Peanuts, and the work within Mad Magazine. Number seven, The Loud House was designed with those traditional comics in mind. Savino himself said that he wanted watching an episode to feel like you're reading the Sunday Funnies. Number eight, this classic look goes all the way to the bones of the show, with every floor, wall, and line being done in a single color. Not to mention, a lot of the show's backgrounds don't feature any moving action at all. Number nine, even the title cards of every episode look like an old school Sunday newspaper comic. Lincoln appears on every single title card in some form. Number 10, the show began as part of Nickelodeon's animated shorts program, which started in 2012 to showcase new work by some talented folks. Number 11, Savino's pitch was selected to be part of the 2013 shorts program. Originally, the short was about a family of rabbits starring a lone boy rabbit with 25 sisters. Number 12, as the short was developed, the characters became humans instead of animals, and the number of sisters was knocked down to 10. Whew a little easier to remember. Number 13, the story became a reflection of Savino's own life, as he himself grew up with nine siblings. Take that, Brady Bunch. Number 14, Savino named five of the girls on the show after five of his real life sisters. Two other sisters were named after what Savino and his wife would have named their daughters, if they didn't wind up having three sons, that is. One sister was named after a pet wiener dog he had, and another sister's name was taken from a famous literary character, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. So a lot of thought went into these names. Number 15, Lincoln, on the other hand, was named after the street Savino grew up on. He was the last character to be named. Number 16. Savino's childhood home inspired the Loud House itself. The house number, 1216, is the same as the address where he grew up, and the boomerang and frisbee on the roof are based on all the objects his family stranded on his own roof. Number 17. Growing up, Savino's family had many pets, inspiring him to give the Louds a lot of pets as well. They have four who appear regularly. A dog, a cat, a bird, and a hamster. Number 18. All of these pets are named after famous cartoonists. George McManus, Cliff Sturrett, Walt Kelly, and Charles Schultz. Number 19. The initial pilot was called Bathroom Break and featured Lincoln's attempt to reach the bathroom, warding all of his sisters in the process. <sighs> siblings. Number 20. In 2014, Savino's short was chosen by Nickelodeon's head honchos to become a full-length series. They greenlit the production of 13 episodes of The Loud House. Number 21. They eventually expanded that order to 26 episodes. Quite impressive for the first series to be greenlit from the animated shorts program. Number 22. The Loud House continued continued an impressive streak, becoming the 37th Nicktoon in the network's history. Number 23. The show was previewed at the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con as part of the Nickelodeon Variety Show. Number 24. Comic-Con attendees also got exclusive mini-comics drawn by Savino himself called Lincoln Loud's ABCs of Getting the Last Slice. The comic was eventually adapted into a web-exclusive short called Slice of Life. Number 25. The Loud House officially premiered a year later on May 2nd, 2016. It quickly received a second season order of 14 episodes, getting picked up 
less than a month after it premiered. Number 26. A big reason the show is so beloved is because of its quirky cast of characters. The Loud family is massive and massively entertaining. Let's get to know them. Obviously, we've got mom and dad at the head of the house. Their faces are never seen, but they make their presence often known. Number 27. Papa Loud's name is Lynn Loud Sr. Before he had kids, he was known to go by some nicknames due to his prowess at solving jigsaw puzzles. Number 28. Some of Lynn Sr.'s more notable traits that he passed on to his kids includes Lenny's fear of spiders and Lana's love of bad puns. Number 29. Mama Loud's name is Rita. Her name is a play on words for the phrase read aloud. Very fitting since her lifelong dream is to be a novelist, as revealed in the episode A Novel Idea. Number 30. Though she wants to be a novelist, Rita makes money working as a dental assistant. Before she met Lynn Sr., she was a crossing guard. Number 31. On to the kids. Each of the Loud children is associated with a color expressed in the show's introduction. Lori is light blue, Lenny is sea foam, Luna is dark purple, Luann is yellow, Lynn is red, Lucy is gray, Lola is pink, Lana is dark blue, Lisa is green, Lily is light purple, and Lincoln is orange. Number 32. Lincoln, our main character, is the family's middle child and is the only boy. He is 11 years old. Number 33. Lincoln's favorite pastime is reading, particularly comic books and magazines. His favorite way to read is in his underwear. Number 34. This makes sense since Lincoln is the only loud sibling with his own room, even though it's actually a closet. Number 35. As the show's lead, Lincoln frequently breaks the fourth wall to explain facts about his family to the viewers. That's us! Hey, Lincoln! Number 36. Lincoln's stuffed rabbit, which is always seen on his bed, is modeled after what he was originally supposed to look like before the Loud family became humans. Number 37. Lincoln is the only sibling in the Loud family with white hair. The only other member of their family with white hair is their pop pop. Number 38. Lincoln's favorite band is Smooch, as seen in the episode For Bros About to Rock. Smooch is a reference to the real-life rock band Kiss. Number 39. Lincoln has weird taste in food. His favorite thing to chow down on is a peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich. Blech. Number 40. Lori Loud is the oldest sister. At age 17, she's the only one with a driver's license and is constantly on her phone. Number 41. Lori tends to use being the oldest child as an excuse to get her way. However, while she is bossy, she is also afraid of her family not needing her, as seen in the episode Driving Miss Hazy. If I catch you in here again, I will literally turn you into a human pretzel! Number 42. Lenny Loud is next in line at age 16. She's your stereotypical airhead blonde, easily distracted with some choice lines based on her misunderstanding understanding of what's going on. Though she's not smart, she is very sweet. Number 43. Lenny was originally supposed to be eight years old, short, stout, and super strong. You know, more in line with her literary inspiration, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. A simple man who didn't know his own strength, but we do love her this way too. These are all the rage right now. Number 44. Lenny's favorite food is smoothies, which she constantly makes with creative ingredients like spinach. Number 45. Luna, age 15, comes next. She's the most musically inclined of the Loud siblings and has a very punk rock look. Number 46. Her love of music came from seeing her idol, Mick Swagger, when she was in the seventh grade. After that, her wardrobe and outlook on life changed completely. However, since her first concert was so amazing, she has a tendency to over-prepare her siblings for their first concerts. Number 47. Luna plays many instruments and often provides background music for her siblings' activities at their request. It's your own one-woman mobile band. Number 48. She also tends to quote song lyrics and titles whenever she talks, and when Luna listens to music, she loves to speak in a British accent. Number 49. Luna even has her own roadie a burly guy with a nose ring named Chunk. Sounds about right. Number 50. The next sister down the line is 14-year-old Lou Ann, the family comedian. She's always ready with a pun for every situation and loves to pull pranks on her siblings. Ha! Did you really think I'd fall for- Number 51. Some of Luann's pranks are simple, like squirting a flower, as seen in the pilot, but some are more complex, like all the intricate pranks she pulled in the episode April Fool's Rules. Number 52. Luann is so obsessed with comedy that she even records herself talking in her sleep just in case she comes up with a great joke while snoozing. Number 53. Luann practices many forms of comedy, including ventriloquism. She has a ventriloquist dummy named Mr. Coconuts. Number 54. She also has a retired dummy named Colonel Crackers, who can apparently speak on his own, which freaks Lincoln out and it freaks me out too. Number 55. Luan can often be seen wearing Groucho Marx glasses, complete with a mustache. Unlike in real life, where these glasses are just a prop, Luan's Groucho glasses double as her reading glasses. Number 56. In the episode, Making the Case, Luan is revealed to have her own comedy website where she uploads funny videos, particularly ones of Lincoln from when he was younger. However, she always makes sure to get permission from the people she videotapes before putting their videos online. How sweet! And legal! Number 57. Lynn Loud comes next in the sibling line. 
She is 13 and is named after her father, Lynn Sr. Number 58. Lynn is athletic and hyper competitive, turning anything and everything into a sport, even chores. Number 59. She plays any sport she can get her hands on, including martial arts like kickboxing and lucha libre. In the episode The Loudest Yard, she becomes a local football star after impersonating Lincoln on his football team for a whole season. Showed up by your sister. Burn. Number 60. Lynn is a deep sleeper and snores and drools while she's knocked out. Number 61. One of Lincoln's younger sisters is Lucy Loud, age 8. She's a fan of all things spooky and is an avid poet. Number 62. Lucy is the only Loud sister who doesn't have blonde or brown hair, instead sporting jet black hair with bangs that cover her eyes at all times. Number 63. Ironically enough, in Latin, Lucy means light, which Lucy does not convey at all. She's actually your typical goth girl, dressed in all black and hiding in dark corners of the house, like the attic, basement, and air vents. Number 64. Lucy is your resident creeper. She has a knack for suddenly appearing and scaring the living daylights out of her siblings, and she also runs her own funeral home, as seen in Along Came a Sister. <laughs> Number 65. Lucy also loves writing morose poems and often reads them to her siblings. Uh, hopefully they're supportive of her artistic efforts. She could be the next Edgar Allan Poe. Number 66. The next siblings are the twins, Lana and Lola, both age six. Though they're the same age, they are wildly different personality-wise. Number 67. Lana is a tomboy and the handiest member of the Loud family. She's their go-to gal when something needs fixing and isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. Number 68. Lana is also an animal lover and even acts like a dog when she's upset. Ironically, she's older than Lola by two minutes, so the oldest is not always the most mature. Number 69. Lola, in contrast to her twin sister, is the ultimate girly girl. She is vain and wants to compete in beauty pageants, so she's constantly fixing her hair and makeup and looking into mirrors to stay as pretty as possible. She is also the only loud sister in the younger half of the family who wears earrings. Number 70. She also has a short temper and a knack for manipulation, so her sisters do their best to stay off her bad side. As seen in the episode, Adler's Tale, Lola has no problem snitching on her siblings for personal gain. Play Number 71. The second to last Loud sister is Lisa, age 4. Though she is super young, Lisa is totally brilliant and already has a PhD and a Nobel Prize. Dang, what am I doing with my life? Number 72. Lisa's hobbies include cooking up strange experiments and solving long, difficult math problems. Number 73. Lisa even takes care of paying the Loud House's bills, as seen in the episode Chore and Peace. She is literally years ahead of me, and most other Americans. Number 74. She is very stoic, but also always helpful to her sisters, often tutoring them or sometimes outright doing their homework for them. Number 75. Lily Loud is the youngest member of the family, at just 15 months old. She is well known for leaving legendary stinky diapers all over the house. They're so bad they can clear a room, which Lincoln used to his advantage in the pilot. Number 76. Lily doesn't have much hair. In fact, she's the only character who doesn't have visible eyebrows. I'm sure they'll grow in eventually. Number 77. As mentioned earlier, the Louds also have a grandfather that appears in the series who they lovingly call Pop Pop. So far, Pop Pop's only appeared on the episode Cover Girls, where he video chats with the kids. But since he doesn't have his glasses on, even though they're right around his neck, the kids all act like other members of the family. Number 78. That does it for the Loud family. The next most important character is Lincoln's best friend, Clyde McBride, who is an only child. Number 79. Clyde has a massive crush on Lori. It's so bad that he loses the ability to speak when she's around, and sometimes breaks out into a nosebleed or even faints. Geez, I don't know if that's love or an allergic reaction. Number 80. Clyde's parents are named Howard and Harold. That's right, folks. Clyde has two dads. Number 81. The first episode Howard and Harold appeared in, Overnight Success, made television history as the first time a Nickelodeon show featured a married same-sex couple. The reveal was met with overwhelmingly positive reactions. Number 82. Clyde's parents are very overprotective of him, especially concerning his meals. He is allergic to nuts, gluten intolerant, can't have too much sugar, and can't can't drink orange juice with pulp. I knew it. Allergies. Number 83. Howard and Harold also make sure Clyde has everything he could possibly need for a sleepover, including a sleeping bag, footy pajamas, white noise machine, humidifier, dehumidifier, and a long list of emergency numbers. Number 84. Clyde is very intelligent and has good manners, too. He even does his parents' taxes for them. Number 85. After Clyde comes Bobby, Lori's boyfriend, whom she is constantly texting. He is a jack-of-all-trades and works as a pizza delivery boy, a lifeguard, a mom 
small security guard and a bag boy at the grocery store. Wow, definitely not lazy. Number 86. Bobby doesn't even appear on screen until the episode Undie Pressure, where Lori makes a bet with Lincoln that she won't talk to her boyfriend, and in return, Lincoln can't read around the house in his underwear. Eventually, Bobby breaks into the Loud House to see what Lori's deal is, causing her to lose the bet. Number 87. Bobby and Lincoln bond over the fact that neither of them have brothers, coming up with a secret handshake and hanging out a lot in episodes like Affair to Remember, making Lori jealous in the process. Number 88. Bobby has a little sister named Ronnie Ann, who ends up bullying Lincoln at school in episodes Heavy Metal. Lincoln is embarrassed to tell his sisters about being bullied at school, but when they find out that it's a girl, they form a sister NATO and tell Lincoln that she just has a crush on him. So romantic. That's a classic. Number 89. Of course, when Lincoln tries to kiss Ronnie Ann, she gives him a black eye. Every man's dream girl. She later sends him a written apology along with a steak to help his eye. And the phone number. Number 90. Ronnie Ann first appears on screen in the episode Save the Date. When she and Lincoln go out on a real date, they've been sort of secretly together ever since. Number 91. Other recurring characters include the Loud's cranky neighbor, Mr. Grouse. His name comes from a synonym for the word complain, since that's pretty much all he ever does. Number 92. Mrs. Johnson is the boy's fifth grade teacher. She wears a skirt with a black zigzag line on it, which looks suspiciously like the one seen on Charlie Brown's shirt in the Peanuts cartoon. Number 93. This is far from the first Peanuts reference on the show. Another notable reference pops up in the episode The Loudest Yard, when Lucy pulls the classic football gag on Lincoln while he's training to play. Number 94. In the episode Homespun, a flashback to when the house was frozen over due to an overactive AC revealed that Lincoln's wintertime outfit is the same as Charlie Brown's outfit from a Charlie Brown Christmas. Number 95. The Louds can be most frequently seen traveling in the family car, Vanzilla, which makes many appearances throughout the series. The kids even totally destroy it after a fight in the episode The Sweet Spot. Number 96. Though the show premiered on May 2nd, 2016 in the US, viewers in Australia and New Zealand didn't get it until May 30th. Number 97. Audiences were given two episodes early as a sneak peek that they could watch online or on their phones on various outlets like Nick.com, iTunes, Amazon and Google Play. Those episodes were A Tale of Two Tables and The Sweet Spot. Number 98. Save the Date is about a double date that Lori and Lincoln go on with Bobby and his younger sister, who once bullied Lincoln, Ronnie Ann. Number 99. The best part about the date is how it all got started. Lincoln found a sloppy Joe in his pants that had a love note from Ronnie Ann in it. At least the girl's creative. Number 100. The lads frequent a restaurant called Jean John's French Mex Buffet. In that restaurant, there's a picture of the Arc de Triomphe, a historic monument in Paris, France. Number 100. At the end of the episode, Clyde comforts Lincoln and says, Story is old as time, which is a reference to Beauty and the Beast and the famous song, Tale is old as time. Number 102. In the episode The Waiting Game, some of the school characters are named after Loud House storyboard artists. Kyle is named after Kyle Marshall, Darren is named after Darren McGowan, Jordan is named after Jordan Coach, and Miguel is named after Miguel Puga. Number 103. They don't just pay tribute to the artists. The character, Ken, was named after the Loud House production coordinator, Ken Moo. Number 104. If you look closely in the waiting game, there's a scene where there's a hand resting on Clyde's shoulder. There's no actual character there. Spooky. Number 105. There are a few pop culture references in The Waiting Game. The title itself is a reference to the old dating game show, The Dating Game. Number 106. The title card also shows Lincoln looking a lot like Big Boy from the popular chain, Big Boy's Restaurant. Number 107. The high school has a dance that is underwater themed, which could possibly be referring to the famous Enchantment Under the Sea dance in Back to the Future. So many references! Feels like you are going back in time. And we wish we could go forward in time to get more Loud House episodes sooner. Thanks for watching 107 Facts About the Loud House. Which Loud Sibling is your favorite? Which one are you most like? Comment down below and let us know. We have new videos dropping every week, so let us know which animated film or TV show you want us to cover next. And if you like getting more from your cartoons, subscribe to Channel Frederator, because remember, Frederator loves you.